the OG in the dog pound. This is Darren from Crypto Daily Trade Signals coming to you live from Vietnam. This is our 6 p.m. update, guys. Hopefully, you guys are doing really well, really good. Woo! And this video is about one thing, one thing, and one thing only. We're gonna pump it up, pump it up. We're gonna doge, get the doge coin. We're gonna pump it up. We're gonna send out the positive vibe through the interweb, through the YouTube land, and we're gonna get you guys all fired up. Guys, we got lots to talk about. We got to talk about uh, Dogecoin sentiment. We can see that the Dogecoin sentiment is on the rise, and that's always a good sign because that's always the sign before we hit the, the bullish outbreak before we get to the moon guys before we just pump it up pump it up so we're gonna pump it up we're gonna talk about bitcoin we're gonna talk about uh, some on-chain uh, matrix on-chain data for bitcoin dogecoin we're gonna talk about uh, binance is in trouble again it looks like uh, cz is uh, uh, in trouble again guys we're gonna talk about that we're gonna talk about paypal and their mega crypto app that's gonna include staking DeFi and it's just gonna be huge. We're gonna talk about how that's gonna be launched in the UK soon. Woo! I'm all fired up, guys. We're gonna also gonna talk about the fear and greed index. We're gonna look at the one day chart, the four hour chart for Doge, and we're just gonna be ticking away. But remember this if you want to win the one Ethereum, you gotta be in it to win it. So smash the like right now, subscribe right now. Do it, do it, do it, because I'm climbing the walls. I think this is like the 18th day, the OG in the lockdown. So don't get me climbing the walls. I'm climbing the walls, I'm climbing the walls. So it's a beautiful day. I got the mountains in the background. I got stat I got statues in the background. I got the ocean in the background. I got everything, except I don't have my freedom because we're in lockdown. So guys, don't forget, uh, this is uh, not financial advice. This, uh, this, uh, all, everything you see in this channel is for entertainment purposes. It's not financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. And remember, do your own risk management. You gotta do that. Remember, it's your money, it's not my money. You gotta make informed decisions. And remember, check all the tokenomics, check who's behind the projects. And remember, do your own homework. All right, this is just me expressing my opinion. So, the OG in the dog pound, remember, watch out for nasty scammers in the contents. They might try to uh, pretend to be me and uh, they will try to ask you to contact them. Never do that because they're scammers. Turn on your two factor authentication, protect your assets where they live, where they sleep, because you don't want someone taking your cryptocurrency from underneath you. So, Guys, with all that being said, let's jump into the content. And before we do that, one last thing, gotta get a big, big shout out. We've got some new channel uh, members. We got Ken Shaw, super channel supporter. We got Keith Carroll in the house, also another super channel supporter. We got uh, Mark Maitayabas. Sorry, dude, if I if I if I destroyed your name. Much love, brother. Much love, Mark. We got Eddie nine two five. Yeah, and we got Lord X. Uh, good Lord X in the house, Super Channel member. So guys, don't forget, uh, if you're a Super Channel member, you need to send me an email, and my email can be found, the official email, go to view address, info at elganinvestments.com. Send an email to uh, Jenny Tong right now. She's our uh, she's our uh, digital marketing guru, our digital marketing expert over at the uh, Elgin, and she's gonna take care of, she's gonna send you that special, private whatsapp group We've got a huge uh, number of people in the whatsapp group we share news tips tricks what to do what not to do and we just at the end of the day we share the good vibe and we have a whole lot of fun doing it so th the members are growing i think we got uh, almost uh, like 30 members in there now hopefully we're going to grow that to a couple hundred soon so guys don't forget to do it do it do it now so let's jump into it let's jump in let's do it so right now uh as you can see, let me get all this advertisement out of the way. Advertisement, advertisement, pop ups, I hate those things. So, right now, we can see that uh, uh, Bitcoin right now is uh, trading at 39,176. Uh, and it's kind of it's kind of going down a little bit, but not too much. We're only down about 2%. So, that's in terms of Bitcoin ishness, 2% is absolutely nothing, guys. So, I wouldn't, pan I wouldn't uh, panic about that at all. It's not much. We're having a little bit of uh, people taking profits right now. And uh, remember, We've got that huge, huge short squeeze that's coming up uh, tomorrow. You guys must go back and watch my videos. Go do it now, right now. You got to go back and watch this video on the short squeeze. This is going to tell you exactly why, when, and we could, we're expecting a huge, 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 huge big pump to come in tomorrow, guys. So you got to get it. You know you want it. Let's do it right now. So watch that video. So uh, yeah, Bitcoin right now, as we're seeing, it's, it's gone down about 2%. And uh, right now, it's kind of ra range bound right now uh, between, uh, right now, it's a high of uh, 40, 40, 40,671 and we're low of 38.6. So we're kind of uh, in the middle of that right now. So I wouldn't worry too much. I think that once the US market's open, we're gonna see some pumpity pump, pump, pump it up. Pump 
pump it up. Let's get the crypto going. Pump it up. Let's go. And uh, so let's take a look at it. And you can see that we got a huge, huge short squeeze coming right now. Look at all these pop-up ads. I hate those. If you, if you hate these pop-up ads, leave a comment. I hate them. So you can see that we got a huge, huge short squeeze. We haven't seen this kind of a uh, level of a uh, level of uh, futures, open interest for futures. We haven't seen this kind of uh, in uh, level since uh, the beginning of uh, February, uh, March of uh, uh, this year. So, guys, this is really this is really cool. This is really dynamic. This means that all the all the all the shorts that bet against the crypto, they're about to get wrecked. And uh, they're going to lose their shirts and they're going to have no choice but to buy back in, take long positions. So that's going to reduce all the selling pressure that uh, is on the markets right now. So you can see. And if we take a look at Doge, Doge, is, Doge, Doge in terms of open interest, also very similar. You know, in May we had a huge huge That's when we had the big all-time high. And you can still see that, in fact, the open interest are actually... You know, if we look from where we are, March, May, the huge, huge spike, that's when we had the all-time high. It's come now, down now. But you know, you see, we're going back up again. So that's exactly what we want. We want all those people that bet it against Doge. They're absolutely going to get wrecked soon. And you know what that means? It means that they're going to have to take long positions to recover to recover their cost. Sorry about the noise in the background. I can't control the traffic outside. I'm not a traffic policeman. So let's look at some on-chain on -chain data for Bitcoin right now. Let me get it, get it, get it. So right now you can see that uh, right now Bitcoin is down 3.37% uh, as I said. So the concentration by large holders is only about 11%. So you can see that uh, Bitcoin is pretty much decentralized uh, as far as I can see because you know you don't have uh, where Doge Doge is around about 63% is uh, in uh, concentrated into uh, single holders. So that's pretty good. And then price correlation with Bitcoin, of course, is one because it's Bitcoin, right? And if you look at the holder composition, 59% of all holders of Bitcoin have been holding Bitcoin for more than one year. So you can see absolutely there's a lot of old wallets, old diamond hands like me. I'm an old, old Bitcoin diamond hander. I've been holding Bitcoin for years and years and years. And I love Bitcoin. I love the Doge. Pump it up. Pump it up. We're going to get there. And so people that have been buying uh, uh, Bitcoin within one year to 12 months, also 33%. So that's that's pretty uh, that's pretty big. Uh, pretty big and as you saw that uh, you know the total Bitcoin uh, and crypto space adoption is, is doubled since the beginning of the year from 100 to 200 million people so that's pretty cool and then uh, in the last seven days uh, Bitcoin has transacted uh, 1.32 billion so that's pretty huge uh, transaction and demographics so we're seeing that 59 percent of the uh, of the Bitcoin is held in the West, so that's the Americas, and then the rest of 41% uh, is held in the East. So I bet you guys didn't know that. So total exchange inflows is around about 9.333 billion in the last seven days, and you can see right here that the total outflows. We're seeing more and more outflows for Bitcoin right now than we are inflows, and that's a good sign because it means that people bought, they're moving it, they're moving their coins off the exchanges into hardware wallets or custodial services. And that means they're going to be holding. That means that the number that the supply and exchanges goes down, supply and demand. That means it's going to be it's going to become harder and harder for retailers, you and me, and everyone to buy. Uh, Bitcoin. So that's a good thing, guys. I love it. You love it. Now I gotta accept all this pop up here. I does pop up here. Poppy, I accept. So let's take a look at the uh, total on chain uh, matrix right now because uh, Bitcoin is down 2%. You're seeing it's uh, kind of mainly bearish. So this is all the on chain signals you can see here. Uh, nothing really to worry about right now, but uh, yeah, cool, cool beans. Great time to be alive, guys. And uh, you know, if you want more evidence that uh, the bull run has just started, here's a uh, heat map. This is a heat map from uh, our friend Willy Wu. Willy Wu, he's a huge, huge on-chain, a huge uh, Bitcoin maximalist. And you can see that when we had this, when we last time we had this big run-up and we had this huge heat, heat map. So the heat map of total coins absorbed by shrimps, okay? Shrimps means retailers, okay? There's, there's, there's sats, they're stacking sats every, each day, no sign of bear market in sight. So shrimp holders, uh, are holders of less than one Bitcoin across all of their addresses. So if you have less than one Bitcoin, then you're considered a shrimp. A shrimp. So I guess in my case, I'm probably a dolphin, right? A dolphin or a tuna. So I'm a, I'm a dolphin. I'm a Bitcoin dolphin. So I'm definitely not a whale. I might be, I'm a dolphin. I'm a dolphin. That's all the dolphin. So you can see right now in terms of this heat map, this is when we had this uh, big, this is when we had the big run up 
here we had the all-time high here but look what's happening here you can see right now today that the number of uh, shrimps the shrimps out there you can see that retail investors haven't given up and there's a lot of retail buying into Bitcoin right now and I'm not making this stuff that's on chain I'm pointing at the screen right now I'm pointing at you I'm pointing at you see I got a green shirt I got a green background and we got green shrimp shrimp shrimpy shrimp heat map so guys the bull run is over over you can take that to the bank guys so I love it you love it let's jump into the douche right now where's my douche my douche my douche let's get it right now so we can see right now get my get my beautiful face out of there and my beautiful face so you can see right now that the doge doge in the house is trading it's at about the same levels as uh, bitcoin in terms of its it's right now let me just click on that yeah it's down 2.3 percent and bitcoin's down two percent so you know we're basically in line and that's a really good sign because we're not we're not dumping you know i mean bitcoin's down two percent right now and you know in the past remember in the past you know after i had that dramatic fall uh from grace when we went from 64k bitcoin all the way down and uh you know if we'd had a measured move uh about a week or two weeks ago and bitcoin took uh, took out two percent in uh, one day you'd see uh, dogecoin you know doing double of that in terms of volatility so you can see that uh, dogecoin is actually falling in line uh with bitcoin so you you can see that you know there's a lot of organic growth there's a lot of beautiful sentiment out there and you can see that if we look at the total sentiment right now for uh bitcoin and bitcoin dogecoin get your words right so I'm, so this is this this is a sentiment and this is over a 24 hour period and you can see that we have peaks and valleys in the sentiments so this is a peak and let me just over overlay the price on top of it get a price in there so you can see as we have high sentiment you can see that the price boosts so you can see that we have peaks and valleys and it tends to follow the sentiment but you can see over the last 24 hours and particularly around eight o'clock we get a lot of a sentiment means the number of articles in social media so you can see that in the evening time in the evening time we're starting to get a lot of social media activity out there so it means that you know things are really buzzing along and it looks pretty good guys in terms of uh where we're going this is the number of articles produced so the sentiment is definitely increasing you can also see here that if you look at the total price and we look at the total sentiment we're starting to see some good things happening so the dogecoin sentiment is getting pretty pretty positive look at look at let's look at some on-chain on data for doge right now so right now, uh, pump it up, pump it up, Doge, pump it up. So I want everyone to start singing in YouTube like, do, one, two, three, Doge, pump it up, Doge, pump it up. Start typing, start sending a live stream, Doge, pump it up, come on, Doge, pump it up. So everyone that's uh, in the live stream right now, you guys need to be pumped up. Let's get this baby, let's get this baby to the moon, guys. 50 cents coming in August, I believe, I, you should believe it. So let's take a look right now at the on-chain matrix. Holders making money, we got 66% of all holders making money right now. So if you are a Dogecoin holder, and I've been hearing a lot of people been saying, oh, and I'm making money. Well, somebody's making money because the on-chain data is saying that 66% of people are making money. And 31% of out of, out of money. The only the only thing that's a somewhat distressing is we have 63% of all of the concentration of large holders. Where if you contrast that with Bitcoin, uh, the concentration of large holders is only 11%. So that's that's uh, something else. But you know we're gonna pump it up. So you can see that the holders composition, 45% uh, have been holding for more than one year, so that's good. And 48% have been holding for uh, one to 12 months, and then people then uh, less than one month is uh, is seven uh, percent so this is a, this is a new retailers coming in this is also the this new money coming and this is the old guard like the og in the house and you can see our telegram group it's also picking up over the last seven days and you can see that our demographics are similar to bitcoin 53 percent in the west and 47 percent in the east so that's really good news guys so let's take a look at the doge on uh, let's take a look at the do let's take a look at the fear and greed index right now the fear and greed index is looking better uh, we're now in neutral territory so that's really good this is still very much a buying opportunity you know when you're when you're in extreme fear to here this is when we we're still a pretty good buying opportunity remember this is not financial advice and as we get higher higher up into these areas which is extreme extreme greed uh, these are not good times to be buying guys because this this often tends to uh, mark a top so we're probably going we're probably going to go from neutral we're probably going to go to greed and uh, that's when we're going to start seeing markets coming up. So, you know, definitely I'm going to see that tomorrow with a short squeeze coming. Definitely Doge is going to be pumping. And definitely Dogecoin is going to be pumping. So let's jump into the, some of the news. Let's get some of the news out of the way. 
So right now, as I, as I mentioned, PayPal is set to launch crypto trading in the UK and may embrace DeFi. So, uh, you know, uh, you know, rumors are sw rumors are swimming around that uh, PayPal might be uh, working with Uniswap to create some DeFi staking and also allow APY on uh, staking of crypto. So that hasn't been confirmed, but there's been a leaked video that's come out where some of the top uh, top brass of Uniswap said that they're going to be working with PayPal. PayPal was asked about it, but they've denied it. I, I guess they're waiting for some official press release. But it looks like they're going to be doing DeFi staking on uh, on PayPal. So PayPal, they're really they're really going to town on this crypto. They're looking at uh, becoming a huge exchange through Vimo. So that's really good news, guys. So global payments, PayPal is looking toward looking towards the United Kingdom as the next big market to expand its crypto trading services and it's not only going to be triple sim they're going to be i think a next big platform you know you got crypto.com swiss uh you know they are looking to be a major huge platform guys so just uh, keep an eye out, out for paypal because already in terms of uh, payments and stuff paypal is huge huge i mean i'm using paypal i'm not shilling for paypal but it's easy right and you have buyer protection so yeah definitely definitely uh so uh, showman revealed that paypal uh, is working with vimo and their revenues grew 183 percent year over year you know remember way back when in the beginning of the bull they said look they we're going to get into uh, crypto and it's paying off for the 183 percent increase year and year that's pretty good man i mean if i could make 183 percent profit in my uh, hotel business I'll be laughing. Ha 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 to the bank. All right, guys. So the PayPal, the you know, the PayPal owned by Vimo launched crypto trading services to an estimated 50 million users in mid-April. So in mid-April, they got 70 million users, guys, and that means that 70 they got 70 million PayPal users, and that means that once they have the cryptocurrency available to to be bought using PayPal, it just means that's going to drive much more liquidity in the markets, and that's also going to drive uh, all the crypto all the cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin and all the cryptos up because you're you're bringing more liquidity, you're bringing more money into the markets, guys. So when you got more liquidity, more money in the in the market, what's going to happen? Things are going to go up, right? Of course, that, that's uh, common sense. So DeFi integration regarding decentralization. Uh, Showman suggested that PayPal was looking into what the next generation of financial system is. DeFi, of course. DeFi, hello, Showman. Come on, why don't you just come out and say it? And how to integrate smart contracts and decentralized apps into the platform. Easy. They just integrate uh, Uniswap. Come on, guys, wake up uh, over at PayPal. So the comments came as the uh, same time as a leaked video from the last week's uh, you know, the Ethereum conference in Paris revealed that the world's largest decentralized exchange, Uniswap, has been in talks with PayPal. They've also, they've also rumored to be in uh, talks with uh, Robinhood. Robinhood denied that because Robinhood, they always deny everything until they release it. So don't believe every, everything Robin. I mean, I'm really disappointed by Robinhood's IPO. Where's our wallets, guys? Come on, Robinhood. You, you, you know, you, you, you did the IPO. The IPO was a big kibosh failure. You guys were down 8% after, after opening. Come on. And you know, you guys have lost a lot of trust, Robinhood, in in users because we're you were supposed to give us the complete package, which was the IPO and the wallets. We got no wallets. So you know, I think that you know, once you turn on the wallets, people are going to be moving the Doji Doge uh, to other crypto platforms, and they're out of there. I mean, I'm waiting for that. I'm I'm as soon as my I get my Doge off my uh, Robinhood, I'm moving it to a uh, Binance. And uh, even eToro, eToro's got Doge. I might even move it to my eToro account. Uh, but definitely, I'm out of I'm out, I'm out of Robinhood because I don't like people when they say they're gonna do something. Don't do that. It really, it, it, it doesn't build trust. Doge, pump it up this time. Doge, pump it up. Doge, pump it up. All right, guys, let's get into some more news now. Uh, Binance CZ is looking for his replacement. So as you know, Binance is under a lot of regula regulatory uh, pressure right now. So Binance is looking to hire a CEO to replace him. And this CEO needs to be somebody that has a good background knowledge of regulatory issues. Uh, so Shao CZ said there was no timeline for succession and that he would not be uh, stepping down right away. Mm hmm. So, uh, and then he said, I will always contribute to Binance and BME ecosystem. I don't have to be the CEO to do that. So that's the typical CEO parting, I'm out of their words, right? Like, yeah, I'm not going to be the CEO, but I'm still going to be involved. I mean, that's like, uh, 
that's like uh, in you know the CEO I'm leaving rule book 101 what do you say in a press release well that's it he just said you know how many times have you guys heard that so as part of the exchange plan to address the current regulatory scrutiny uh, CZ said that Binance is pivoting from a tech startup to a financial institution uh, which will involve opening headquarters and creating structures that's gonna be difficult for them because if they open up a headquarters somewhere that means they're going to come under a lot of regulatory scrutiny right now binance does not have a headquarters and it really it's really not uh, it really not set up anywhere so that's going to be re pretty difficult i think they just have to watch out i mean i think they're going to be setting up headquarters in like some cayman Islands, some some tax-free zone or something like that so to kind of keep the or maybe malta for example to keep the regulators off their backside now other bad news for uh CZ and uh, Binance, they're under investigation for money laundering in India. Basically, uh, the authorities in India are investigating a $134 million money laundering case. There was this exchange called Wars, Wars X, which was an Indo cryptocurrency exchange, but Binance bought it in 2019. And uh, apparently, there was some kind of a, a gambling app that was going on, and all the money from the gambling app, betting app, was uh, collected and moved through this exchange. But unfortunately, uh, in India, they don't allow gambling. So they're under investigation for that. So let's see how that uh, turns out. I think it's gonna end up being a big uh, nothing burger as far as I'm concerned, but let's see how that turns out for CZ. So just another another ka-ching in the regulatory. And uh, you know, everyone's just going after CZ now. He must be, uh, have, must have bodyguards. He must be hiding for cover and he must be walking in the shadows. I'm CZ and no, I'm not CZ. I, I, I just look like a, I just like a, I just look like an Asian guy but I'm not CZ I'm not CZ uh, yeah yeah so yeah I mean he must be hyper coverage right now so this is some really good news ethereum price can hit 14k if it holds the two, 2020 fractural charts so we're looking at uh, we're looking at a particular pattern right now for uh, uh, ethereum and uh, and you know if you look at uh, and if ethereum can uh, continue to maintain a bit above the 50-day SMA uh, as it did in July uh, in, in July 2021 right now and uh, it can continue to do that and uh, and all these fractals looking at pointing to there's some unchained data that said we could hit uh, we could hit uh, fourteen thousand dollar ethereum right now so that's really good so approximately the 1.0 level is the next leg up we could have ethereum test four thousand dollars and meanwhile the fibonacci extension could have the pair uh, to 1.5 or 2.0 fib and that, that coincides from the $6,000, $9,000 error. So let's just dive in that chart for a, a second. Let me zoomy, zoomy that up for you. And zoomy, 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 I'm zooming. Come on, zoomy, zoomy. So you can see here right now, you know, remember way back, right now Ethereum is trading right there at $2,230. And remember we had an all time high around here, which was around about uh, 4,500, right? So what they're saying is, if we look at the, if we, if we look at the, uh, uh, Fibonacci uh, 0.05 extension we're looking at around 7k right if we look at the uh, 1.0 we're looking around about 9k and if we look at the 1.5 extension uh, we're looking at uh, we're looking at 14k and uh, can the next top be above the Fibonacci 2.0 extension if we go above uh, 2.0 we could be looking 16 17,000 K guys so this is really bullish news for Ethereum I'm, I'm holding a whole bunch of Ethereum. I hope this really happens and we've seen we've seen this before guys we've seen this kind of uh, you know we, we we saw the 1.5 extension here we saw a 2.0 extension in May when we went to all time when we went to the all-time high remember we also saw a 1.0 extension back in September. So worst case scenario, if we take the averages of this, this, and this, we're looking at like what, 1.1, 1.2. So that puts us around about uh, you know seven to eight thousand dollar Ethereum coming in at the end of the year, right? So it looks like we could do that based on the historical data of this chart. It looks like we could be hitting a seven between you know seven on seven thousand dollar Ethereum on the low end if we hit one. You know that could that could be taking us to uh, around about eight or nine thousand, and if we go all the way up to one point five, fourteen thousand dollars. Let's get it. So definitely, guys, douche pump it up, douche pump it up. So let's pump it up. Let's jump into the markets right now. Ooh, let's get it. Let's jump into the whole markets. Let me turn that dark. Let's turn dark mode for you. Turn dark mode. Let me uh, get the minty. Let me refresh that. The minty fresh. 
Minty Fresh, get out of here. Okay, here we go, guys. Let's get into the markets right now. So, right now, uh, Bitcoin is dropping. It's at $30,906. That's down 3%. We're still up 20% for the week. Ethereum right now is out, still up 1.69%. That's pretty good considering the whole markets have dropped. And uh, we're up 14.84%. So, that's cool beans, guys. And, uh, yeah, Ethereum 3, 3, 2,356. Not too shabby. And Binance Coin is down 1.31%. Uh, and remember, all of these, all of the stuff that's down is because of Bitcoin, okay? And uh, it's uh, it's uh, down for the week, uh, six point, it's up for the week, 6.17%, excuse me. And Cardano right now is also down because the whole market cap is down and also by, uh, Bitcoin is down. So it's at $1.27. So everything's just kind of going flat line. I think with this big short squeeze that uh, possibly coming tomorrow, we got see me gaps at the end of the month. You can see a huge pump it pump coming. Doge pump it up, doge pump it up. And uh, right now Cardano is up uh, almost 8%. And where's my do like, guys i don't like xrp so that's why i don't talk about it some people are like Daryl, oh gee why you don't talk about it? i don't like xrp too many people too many of the uh, developers and the uh the, you know the owners of xrp uh, chain they hold too much they hold too much xrp it's not decentralized enough for me i don't like it i never touch xrp this is not financial advice if you if you're an xrp maximus don't beat me up it's my personal choice i'm not saying i i'm not saying it's a bad something bad i just don't like it myself okay so right now doge is still holding 20 cents so that's good and we're at uh, down uh, minus 1.95 and that's pretty much, uh, actually we're doing better than uh, Bitcoin guys who's Doge pump it up, Doge pump it up. So we're doing better than uh, Bitcoin right now, so that's fantastic. We're still up 5.27% uh, for the whole week. And we got a huge pumpity pump coming tomorrow. If this short squeeze works out and the selling pressure comes up, uh, Bitcoin and the other uh, uh, large uh, large coins in the top uh, top 10, like Dogecoin, Ethereum, we're gonna see a huge upside tomorrow we could see a 10 15 percent pump it doge pump it up doge pump it up all right guys enough of that silliness uh one last thing before we go guys remember to smash that like so oh, we forgot we forgot the og in the house we gotta look at our crypto portfolio let's uh refresh that let's make sure it's minty fresh minty fresh so right now guys our uh let me get that our doge our daily crypto trade signals portfolio remember this is only for educational purposes and some financial advice and uh this is uh you know not financial advice guys this is education purpose. this is just just educational so right now the uh, the do daily crypto trade signals portfolio is uh trade is at five thousand three hundred fifty six dollars so we're up guys we're in profit still at three hundred fifty seven dollars so that's up seven percent so that's not so bad not too shabby right so if you guys had uh and i, I believe we started this portfolio back uh 20 hold on let me go back let's see what we got a month here let's go back let's go back let's get the exact date so we started this portfolio on the second of july so from the 2nd of July to now, we're up 7%. So that's not too bad, guys. See if you can get that, If see if you can make that kind of money if you put $5,000 in your local bank. How long would it take you to make that kind of cash? All right, guys, remember this is not financial fun. So guys, one more time, don't forget to smash the likey likey. Smash it, smash it, smash it. Don't forget to uh, follow my links, guys. Smash the likes, subscribe. Guys, uh, check out uh, check out the Zen Music Attic link. It's a it's a it's a kind of a meditation, relaxing, helps you sleep kind of uh, a music channel. You're gonna love it. Check it out. Check the link. You're gonna love it. Subscribe if you like it. Support the channel with a Patreon. And remember, in the live stream, please support the channel with super chats. If you're in a country that is geo geo from super chats, uh, go to uh, Kofi.com and support the channel. Remember, every single donation, every single coffee, every single super chat, all the merch you buy. Even the NFTs that you buy all goes to the Vietnamese orphans. The Vietnamese are hungry. Help feed the orphans. Do it now. So check out everything. And I and I got merch, guys. Check out my merch. I got bags. I got hoodies. I got tons of cool stuff. I got the mug. I got the mug. So go to my go to Crypto Daily Trade Signals. Check out the check out the uh, check out the shop link. Yeah, go to go to the shop link. Click the shoppy shop. And don't forget to. Uh, smash the likes again and guys we got some cashbacks uh if you open up a luno uh, account using my promo code you can get uh, you can get uh, 10 pounds if you you get 10 pounds cash back it's 10 percent if you if you 
Uh, also, we got Hobbit. Also, Crypto.com giving a, get, they got twenty-five dollar uh, sign-up bonus. That doesn't apply to people in the U.S. because it's not available. Celsius Network, you sign up, it's uh, thirty bucks they give you. So it's really good. And, and Celsius is really good. Basically, you you earn APY on your uh, crypto. So if you got crypto just hanging around doing nothing, send it to Celsius, and they'll give you up to eight to nine percent APY. Go to the website, check the exact APY levels. And the good thing about uh, Celsius. If and when you decide to send your crypto off their exchange, they pay the fees. No other, no other, uh, you know, no other website, no other uh, place does that. You end up paying the fees, right? So Celsius pays the fees first, so it's really good. And uh, guys, yeah, yeah. So don't forget to once again follow me on Telegram, website, Google. Guys, follow me on Twitter. I've got uh, forty-six thousand subscribers, guys, and I've only got two thousand two hundred. Uh, Twitter follows. Come on, help the OG out. So, do pump it up, do pump it up. Okay, guys, be blessed. Go with God. Walk with God. Spread a little love. Spread it in good vibe. Hashtag do spread love. Do it right now. So, whew, let's get it. I'll see you in the next one. I love it. You love it. Ooh, let's get it. Get it. Get it while you can.